cat looks like a nice okay. color. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, hello. My God, now I'm in style. Old man from Bigger Saskatchewan. His name is John Gidluck. Now, John believes it is the simple things in life that count. If he notices, for example, someone making a contribution to the community or just doing something nice, he likes to acknowledge it. Now, nothing elaborate, mind you, just a small gift he makes with his own two hands to say thanks. Lloyd Hawk, the mayor of Bigger Saskatchewan, has one. At the United Church, Reverend Neil Millard has one too. Even Fire Captain Jerry Bessie and his men have at least one each. In fact, thanks to 91-year-old John Gidluck, almost every deserving soul in town has one. The very beginning, you start out here, one. The next one is like that again. And you tighten it up. Now again. And that's how you continue. I would say the community appreciates these hangers that John makes. And, and uh, there, there's a lot of love in it, too, I, I would say. You know, the, the love of giving. Thank you so much. Yeah, well. My God, now I'm in style. Bigger is my town. I've been here since 1922. And anything I do, to make the people in Bigger feel better, to make a better town, I feel better, and I'll live longer. The hangers are very important. They represent John. They're part of him. Everybody uh, cherishes them, and I think that's what makes him feel so good. March 16th. What do you call them? 83. John made two coat hangers. That's the first he made. The first ones we made, they didn't look, they didn't look like these here. At first, he was just covering him up. See how, see how coarse and rough this is? We didn't know about the, mat the material could be narrower, and you could make a sm nice, smooth job like in this, you see? Quite a difference, huh? <laughs> yeah, or, or, or difference right, ne right here, see? Yeah. But... That's what takes experience, takes years to learn. You learn the hard way. So we keep that head. It's not fit to see. <laughs> He's certainly a uh, community spirited fellow, and, and uh, I doubt you'd find hardly anybody in town that, that doesn't know John and, and know what he's, what he's doing. See you later, man. Okay. Morning, John. Hi, Ed. How are you today? How are you? Good. I haven't seen you for a while. Yeah, oh yeah. What well, have you got in the bag? Oh, uh, going by and uh, you got some coat hangers c coming. The biggest satisfaction is given to somebody who deserves it the most. Thank you Okay, very much. okay. Yeah. They're really nice. I either value their friendship or the cause that they're working for. All the good you've been doing. It's an hour now to make one. Or it used to take a half a day. Bring her in tight and do again. I think he made about a, about a million by now. Because <laughs> uh, he's at it all the time. Something to do. He can't be... Something to do. Yeah. <laughs> I don't go to the beer parlor. I don't smoke or drink or fool around with wild women. <laughs> and you got to do something. I do something for, and make something that people appreciate. I made, made these co coat hangers and I'm giving them to you and you hold them until such time that the museum is ready to accept them as part of the furnishings thank you very very much John. so what do you call them uh, they're beautiful uh, yeah they're well beautiful. okay yeah. some people just eat and go to sleep and go to the toilet and that's about all they, they achieve you know <laughs> i gotta produce something you know you feel that way, and if you feel good about it, why not? This is the finish. I put a little glue there, cut the, when, when the glue sets the next morning, I cut the ends off, and you got a finished product. Week when we're on the road again. We'll see you then. Bye for now.